Thank you, Mr. Chair, for recognizing me. The resolution before us ostensibly addresses what is near and there to every decent human being, the education of little children. It has been alleged that children of the ultra-Orthodox Hasidic community receive no secular or adequate education, subjecting them to a life of misery and poverty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lie. Recently, I've attended the Orthodox Jewish Builders Association Convention in Meadowlands, New Jersey. In attendance, were hundreds of business trade booths and thousands of participants, all, all from the Hasidic community, all educated in Hasidic institutions. A Pew survey in 2015 found that ultra-Orthodox Jews make more than $50,000 a year, as opposed to just 45% of Americans overall and about a quarter of ultra-Orthodox Jewish households make more than $150,000, far above the 8% of Americans, generally. Ladies and gentlemen, this resolution has nothing to do with education. The evidence is right in before your eyes. Look around you. Who showed up this evening to support this resolution? It is the same people who have attacked the Arab, the same people who call the Hasidic community a cult, and it is the very same people who tolerate, tolerate labeling the Hasidic community as cancerous. These people cannot have the well-being of my beautiful little children at heart. Make no mistake, make no mistake. This resolution is a continuous, sinister campaign to besmirch and delegitimize Hasidic Jews in Rockland County. A one-person organization called Yafed released a report that I have here in my hand. It is filled with inaccuracies, lies, and innuendos. I know because I have attended one of the private schools in Brooklyn mentioned in this report. Mr. Chair, there is nothing left for me to do but to put this report in its proper place. To my dearest Hasidic brethren, who look upon this terrible, terrible, horrendous campaign with anxiety, trepidation, and fear, I would like to say the following. We have survived thousands of years, some in very dire circumstances. This, too, we shall survive. Hold your heads up high as proud Americans. God will protect you and bless you. The greatest constitution in the history of mankind will ultimately prevail and shield you. In the words of President George Washington, in his letter to the Jewish community of Newport, Rhode Island, quote, may the children of the stock of Abraham who dwell in this land continue to merit and enjoy the goodwill of the other inhabitants, while everyone shall sit in safety under his own vine and fig tree. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.